Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, students, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here once again to have the opportunity to be in another class. Good evening. That's good. Hello, Mr. Julio. Good evening. I was wondering why my students are not I'm not answering, I said, and I was like, hello, 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 hello. Ella se está escuchando. ¿Cómo hablan? No, si no, que el día escuché. Hello, and I can say good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good. I have you, I have you in two connections. Are you in two different Thank devices? You. Ana Yancy, are you in two different devices? Tiene dos conexiones. Yeah. One for oh, the camera. Quiero ver. Es que no me funcionaba la compu y me ah. metí en el teléfono. Okay, just, Pero... just for the record. Uh -huh. Ahora sí, solo uno. Yeah, that's good, that's good. No, just for, for you to know, because in some cases it happens that uh, I connect on the phone and then I forget it and then I just leave it there. De repente lo dejo en el teléfono activo y para que no le pase. Okay, so uh, today in the afternoon, I sent you a little game on the phone for you to practice a little bit of the two-part verbs. Did you have the opportunity to see it? No, 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 really, really no. In the WhatsApp group? Let me see. I send it to you in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Ah, I send it in the in in the evening at two PM. But maybe later on the other messages, yeah. you missed it. I am not in the group. You are not in the group, really. But uh, the information of the WhatsApp group was in the information that you received uh, from uh, the course. En el correo que recibió de la información de curso, ahí iba un link para unirse a WhatsApp. Email. Uh -huh. In the email, it's there, so uh, you can join to the group in WhatsApp. Okay, hay right un, now. Hay un, hay un enlace en su correo donde lo redirecciona directamente para WhatsApp. Y ahí se pueden unir, okay? Y Julio, did you find the game that I sent you? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. So you can do that phrasal, later on. Phrasal, phrasal verbs. Yeah, phrasal okay. verbs. The ones that we were phrasal practicing. Verbs. The ones that we were practicing yesterday. Okay. Oh. So uh, yesterday we were talking about the two-part verbs that are verbs that have two different parts. Like, for example, turn up, pick up, right? Those are. That is one, right? Marlon, did you have the opportunity to? to join WhatsApp? Yes, right now. Okay, perfect. So I am going to resend the link later on. Okay, uh, thank you. Here, it, this is what we were doing 
uh, this is what we were doing yesterday, right? The practice that we were doing, the conversation. And yesterday we were mentioning the different two part verbs, right? Like pick up, right? Uh, hang out, turn it down, right? Those were the things that we were mentioning as part of the two part verbs, right? And I was explaining you this one, right? That we can use it with nouns and we can use it as requests. When you say like, please turn it up, pick up your clothes, please, right? This is what we were studying yesterday. So and this was the last part that we did in the class, right? The different verbs, the different two part verbs that we have. And I was explaining you the different forms like clean up, clean off, put away, put out, pick up, hang up, let out, turn down, turn on, turn off, turn up, take off, take out and throw out, right? Remember that in these ones, you can mention something in the middle, right? You can say, clean your bedroom up, for example, right? You can put the noun in the middle or then clean up your bedroom, right? You can do it at the end. So you have the two forms on which you can use the two part verbs, right? Put the shoes away, right? Or put away your shoes. The meaning is the same, right? In this case, you say, pick up your toys or pick your toys up, right? You can use the noun in the middle or at the end of the sentence. Let the dog out, you can say, or let out the dog. In this case is that the animal is going to go out on the street, right? Turn down the volume or turn the volume down, right? You can use it in the middle. Turn the TV on or turn on the TV. You can use it like that. You can say, turn your cell phone off or turn off your cell phone. It is the same. So in the case of the two part verbs, you can use them in the middle of the two verbs or the, of the two parts of the verbs or at the end of the sentence, right? Eh, Eso nos queda claro, donde podemos colocar el noun eh, cuando tenemos un verbo que tiene dos partes? Yes or no? It's clear. Good. Yes. Mm, teacher. Yes, Ana Yancy. Eh, puede repetir nuevamente, por favor. Okay, for sure. When we have a verb that has two parts, like in the case of the list that we have here, we can put the noun of the sentence in the middle of the noun of the verb or at the end. So I can show you the example here. You can say, turn down the TV or turn the TV down. Okay. Si tenemos un noun, que es, es en este caso la palabra TV, la podemos poner en medio de las dos palabras o al final. Okay. El significado va a ser el mismo. It doesn't change. Pick up your things or pick your things up. Okay and it is not going to change. In this one, all of them are requests. ¿Qué son requests? Son pedidos que se nos hacen. Si yo les digo, turn down the TV, apaga la tele, right? Turn down the TV, pick up your things, recoge tus cosas. Clean up your bedroom, limpia tu cuarto, right? But the use of this one is that you can put it in the middle of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. And I have the examples of the two part verbs, right? And here you have the meaning of them because only the verb clean, it means limpiar. But if I say clean up, it's like limpialo, right? The, the action of it. If I say clean off, you have to work on that, right? It's not just cleaning. Right. Put away, solo la palabra put significa poner, pero si le digo put away, es like llévatelo para allá, o sea, ponlo lejos, right? put away. If I say hang up, hang solo es colgar, 
But if I say hang up, ya sabemos que es colgar de terminar. Okay, so these have different meanings. So that's why I included the meanings here. When you use this type of verbs, they have a specific pronunciation, right? You don't say, eh, pick up the toys, right? You have to put the specific pronunciation to the different verbs. In this case, you say, pick up the toys. Pick up have the same stress, right? En este caso, el verbo tiene la misma entonación en ambas partes. You say, pick up the toys. Turn off the light. But if you say, pick the toys up. Turn the lights off. Right? You have to mark the stress and the pronunciation of the sentence. And I was explaining you this yesterday. In English, we have to use the pronunciation. Okay? Tenemos que usar la pronunciación. Why? Because that is going to give you the idea of the sentence. Right? So, in this case, for sentence number one, my dear students, for sentence number one, as you can see here, this one and this one are stronger. Son más fuertes. And the last one as well. You don't say, pick up the toys. No, you say, pick up the toys. Right? The stress goes up. Right? Turn off the lights. Pick the toys up. Turn the lights off. Right? You have to mark the pronunciation on the words. I need you to repeat after me. Pick up the toys. 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 Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Pick them up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Okay, we're going to read the other two part verbs that I have here. Let me just move here. Give me one second. Here. Clean up your bedroom. Clean up your bedroom. Clean up your shoes. Clean up your shoes. Put the garbage away. Put the garbage away. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Hang up the towel. Hang up the towel. Let the dog out. Let the dog out. Turn down the volume. Turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. Turn off the cell phone. Turn off the cell phone. Turn up the volume. Turn up the volume. Take off your jacket. Take off your jacket. Take out the garbage. Throw out the water. Ok, uh, escuchan cómo se da la entonación de los pedidos que hacemos. Porque si yo le digo, ah, uh, clean, clean up your bedroom, it's not like a request, right? Si yo le digo, yeah, clean, clean the bedroom up, I am not telling you to do it. Ustedes no sienten que se lo estoy pidiendo. Pero si le digo, clean up your bedroom, right? You feel the request. No es lo mismo que su mamá le diga, sí, limpia, no tengas pena. A que le diga, sí, por favor, anda, limpia tu cuarto. So like, okay. And you go, right? You say like, clean up your bedroom. It's a request and you have to mark it as a request, okay? If you want to be very polite, okay, esa es la segunda parte. Si queremos ser un poco más amables, we are going to add what? ¿Qué le agregamos si queremos ser más amables? Please. Please. Okay, that's the form. You say, please turn down the music. It sounds polite, right? Turn down the music, please. 
right? You can use please at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Pick up your clothes, please, right? And you add it and you sound a little bit more polite, right? You sound a little bit more like a little bit friendlier when you are asking this type of requests, okay? So intonation is very important, right? Intonation when you read is very important. I need you to check on these images that I have here. What images do you have presented? What images do you have there? Garbage. Garbage, what else? The radio. The radio, good, what else? Pet. The, a pet, uh huh. Pet. Specifically, you have dog. The dog, uh huh. They have the names. Read the names. The lights. The lights. Your jacket. The jacket, uh huh. The TV. The radio. The radio. The TV. The jar. The, okay, boots. the trash, your boots, your the books. books, right? The yard, the toys, the lights, your jacket, and the dog. What type of verbs can we use can we for use the different pictures? I listened to some feedback. Let me just silent here. What type of verb can we use for the different pictures, right? Remember that we have different phrasal verbs. We have pick up, turn out, turn out, uh, take out, turn on, turn off. What type of phrasal verbs can we use for the different things? Which one can we use for the radio? Turn on. Turn on. Uh huh. What else? Turn down. Turn down. Good. What is another one that we can use for the radio? Or a turn on. Turn on. Good. Which one can we use for the trash? Turn off. For pick the down. pick up. Uh huh. Pick up. What is another we'll one that we can out the garbage? Put out, Please. right? <laughs> Put out the garbage, right? I have here a, another example. And for this one, we are going to work together. Aquí quiero que todos trabajemos juntos. Tenemos las oraciones y tenemos que completar las diez. Okay? And here you have pick up. And I did one for you. Pick up the toys, please. Turn. What can Turn we use off here? The lights. Aha, but we have the space before. The lights. Okay, so you have. Turn the lights off. What can you use for clean? The jar. Okay, you can say clean the yard or clean your boots, right? The yard or your boots. The two options are possible. What about please put the away? The books. The garbage. It can be the trash, right? We have the trash or what was the other option? The books. The books, right? Please put the books or the trash away, right? Please turn down the radio. The TV. The radio. The TV. And uh, the TV. And the TV. Please take off the trash. Mm, take off and quitarse. <laughs> Ah, sorry, jacket. Boots. Your, your jacket. Boots? Your boots or your jacket. jacket. Good, very Bad. good. Your boots or 
your jacket. The two options are possible. Hang up, please. Your jacket. Toys. Your jacket. Well, the toys, you cannot hang it. You say hang. It can be your jacket in this case. Hang your jacket up, please. Cuelgala. Please take out. The trash. The trash. What is another thing that you can take out? Excuse me. The dog. What is an, the dog, right? The dog. Please take out the trash or please take out the dog because it's on the door, as you can see it here, right? Tienen que sacarlo. But in this one, we can say, please let. The dog. This is the one, okay? The this trash. is the one that we're going to use. Let's use this one. Please take out the trash. We're the going trash. to leave the trash here and we're going to see, please let the dog. Please let the dog out. Déjalo salir. And turn on the radio. The, the radio or the TV. In this case, we're going to use the TV because we haven't used it. Oh, we used it in, in the other example. The TV or the radio. Okay. Say, turn on the TV or turn on the radio, or you can say, turn on what else? Lights. The lights, right? You can use the lights as well. You can say, please turn on the TV, turn on the lights, or turn on the radio. Those are the options that we can use. What is the first sentence? Help me reading the first sentence. Pick up the toys, please. Pick up the toys, please. Sentence number two. Turn the light off, please. Thank you. Number three. Clean the yard, your boot. Your say, boot you can up, say, please. clean the yard, please, or clean your boots so, up, clean please. Your boots, please. Okay. What is the next one? Only one option, remember. Please put the trash away. Please put the trash away or please put the books away. Good. Please turn down. Please turn down the radio or TV. Or the TV. Please take off. Your jacket. Your jacket, right? Your jacket. The next one. Hang up. Oh, sorry. Hang your jacket up, please. Very good. Number eight. Please take out the trash. Please take out the trash. Very good. What about the next one? Please let the dog out. Okay. And the next one and the last one. Turn on. Did you need radio, please? please? Turn on the TV or turn on the radio, please. please. Very good job, my dear students. Excellent job. So, as you can see here, the options and the, uh, the different situations, right? We need to remember the meaning of the verbs, right? Pick up. ¿Qué significa? Levantar. Levantar. Turn off. Apagar o bajar. Exactly. Clean up. Limpiar. Limpiar. Okay. Put away. Como hacer a un lado. Hacer a un lado, quitar. Turn down. I had a question. Yes, Mr. Marlon. Put away, eh, podría ser guardar. Yes. Put away, right? When you take something and you put it in a different in a different place. Guardar, yeah? It's possible. Turn down. Bajar what is volumen. Bajar, bajar el volumen. Take off. Apagar. Take off. Quitar. Tomar. Quitarse, right? Quitarse. Tomar. Hang up. Colgar. Colgar. Take out. Tacar. Tacar. Let out. Dejar salir. Dejar salir, right? And turn on. 
Encender. Encender. Excellent. Very good job. So that's something that you need to remember for you to know the complement that you are going to use in the different sentences. Okay. Si sabemos el significado, sabemos que no podemos decir, please let out the radio. Porque no se va a salir el radio. Okay, vaya, prepara la radio. Chuchu. No, you cannot do it, right? Or you cannot say, please turn off your jacket. No la podemos apagar. Right? That is something that we need to, to keep in mind. You cannot say, turn off the dog. Because if not, it'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you turn it off, right? And it's not possible. A menos que se robot. So you need to know the meaning of the different verbs for you to know the complement that you are going to use in each of them. Is it clear? Yeah. Yes? Yes, teacher? Yes. No, teacher? Yes, yes. teacher. Perfect. Yes. So we can go to the next level. Now, this is on you. And you are going to work on this exercise. I am not going to do anything, but you are going to be the ones creating the sentences. I have here the different two-part verbs, and I need you to create the different sentences. I have clean up, hang up, pick up, put away, take out, throw out, turn off, and turn on. I need you to use the chat box on Zoom. Okay, vámonos al chat todos. And I need you to send me two sentences using the verb and the complement. You can put please at the end, you can put please at the beginning. It's okay, but I need you to use the chat. If you cannot use the chat, you can write the sentence on the presentation, okay? Creo que ahí le sale el, el lapicito que lo pueden ocupar en la presentación. You can write the sentences here in this area, right? You can write your sentences here if you cannot use the chat. Si pueden usar el chat, enviémoslo al chat, okay? One sentence with one of the nouns that I have here and one of the verbs that I have here, okay? Let's work on the sentences right now. I am going to be checking on the chat. You are going to send it there. And I am going to try to send you the first one. And I send you the first one. Please write down your sentences here. Very good. Thank you, Julio. I got the first one. I need Can two. Can you see the two sentences? I have one. Turn on the microwave, please. And I have put away your laptop. That's good. You can send more, don't worry. Okay. I am going to be checking them. Clean up the microwave, that's very good <laughs> because in some cases it's very dirty. Clean up the microwave. Good, good, good. You can send more examples there. Turn off your laptop, turn off the microwave. Good, pick up the keys. Very good, more examples. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Ismael. I am receiving the sentences. Go ahead. Continue sending. Don't worry. You can create more. It's okay. The idea is that you practice. Hang up the towels. That's very good. <laughs> Hang up the towels. <laughs> the same sentence at the same time. That's very oh, good. <laughs> yes, Julio and Marlon send the same sentence at the same time. Okay, okay. Deja vu. Yeah, that was connection. <laughs> That's good. Okay, I have take out the newspapers. Okay. I, I take out the newspaper, saca los periódicos. Yeah, tal vez para el que se lo lleva, ahí del, el que lo recolecta. Thank you, Mauricio. Let's see, where are the other examples? I haven't seen an example from Haiti. Send me your examples there. Uh, Diomesis. Send me your examples. I have. Could you pick the newspapers up, please? Thank you, Ismael. What a polite request. That's very good. I will do it with all my pleasure. Okay. 
Mr. Alfredo, I haven't seen an example from you. Okay. Let me see. Put away the garbage, please. Okay, very good. I am going to do it, Mr. Hooli. Put away the garbage, please. In this case, it doesn't have a question mark because it is not a question. We are requesting. Okay. We are going to see the questions in a moment. You are going yeah. to be. Uh, this, the questions in this case will be very similar to what Ismael created. Could you pick the newspapers up, please? Because in that okay. case, I am giving you the option to say yes or no. But that's okay. Very good. So you created one in the written form, and that's perfect. I am going to go one by one, and you are going to tell me the example verbally, okay? I am going to ask each of you, and you are going to give me one example verbally in the oral form. So Mr. Mauricio, create one example on the microphone. And say, teacher, and you give me the request. Teacher, can you please turn off your microphone? Okay, I will do it right now. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Teacher, <laughs> can you can you turn on the, your microphone? Okay, I did it. Thank you very much. Right, okay. all the class was going to be mute. Mister Ismael, okay. give me a request. Tell me a request. Hey, I cannot listen to you. Ismael, please turn on your microphone. Hear me? Yes, now I can listen to you. Okay, yes, I said a teacher. Could you please, I'm sorry. Could you pick the newspaper up, please? I will, for sure. There you go. <laughs> Miss Heidi, can you give me your example, please? Heidi Enriquez, can you give me your example? Okay, maybe she's away. Mr. Julio, go ahead. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, put away uh, the garbage. Okay, I am going to do it right now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Jancy, give me your example. A teacher pick up, pick up the keys, the key, okay. Okay, pick up the keys. Okay, I did it already. Okay, here I have the keys. Ta -da. Thank you very much. Very good. Mr. Marlon. Teacher, put away the boots, please. Okay, I am going to put them away. I put away the books. Diomesis, go ahead. Tito, go ahead. Now, put away your coat. Okay, I am going to put away my coat. Thank you very much. Regina, give me your example. Teacher, uh, turn on the, your laptop, please. Okay. It's on. Very good. Blanky, give me your example. Turn off your laptop. Okay, I am going to do it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, give me your example. Hi, I will turn it off. Michelle, what is your example? Uh, teacher, can you hang up the phone, please? Okay, I, I am in class. Bye. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Alfredo, give me your example. Teacher, um, clean up the car. Clean up the car? Yes. Okay, I, I will take it to the car wash because right now I have a class. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I can, I can, teacher. I can. Okay, I so I am going to do it later. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you very much. You see, very good examples, my dear students. Very good examples, the ones that you created. And 
You see, as you were giving me the different requests, I was doing the different actions because you say, teacher, turn off your microphone. And And I did it, right? So all the different requests are going to be accompanied by the different, the, the different actions. Because if I say, students, um, put away your notebook. Put away your notebook, right? Bring your notebook back. Okay? Students, uh, show me the pencils that you are using or the pen that you are using, right? You have it there, okay? Keep it in your hand, right? And you keep it there. So all the different actions are going to accompany the different requests that you do. Excellent job. Very good job, my dear students, with the different sentences. Fantastic. So... We are going to take this to the next level, right? We're going to practice a little bit. And you are going to do it exactly as we did it in the previous example, right? I need you to choose one person in the class and I need you to give the request to the person. And this person is going to answer with an excuse, okay? For example, if you tell me, teacher, turn off your microphone. And I say, sorry, I can't turn off my microphone because I am in class. I have to use it. I am giving you a, an excuse. If I say, for example, Mauricio, turn off your laptop. I I can do because I receive in the class right ah, now. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. Ismael, okay. hang up your towels, please. Sorry, I can't. I don't have a towel with me right now. Ah, okay, you're forgiven. Good, very good. Mr. Julio. Um, put on your coat. Sorry, teacher, I can't right now, I am in class. Ah, okay, so you're going to do it later on, you see, very good. So this is giving excuses, very good. Mr. Marlon, put the groceries away. The groceries, uh -huh. put the groceries away. Sorry, I am in class. <laughs> right now, just because you are in class. Ana Jansi. Turn off your laptop. Um, I'm sorry, I can not uh, laptop. I can turn off the laptop. I can they're not uh, are not the laptop. Why? Um, <laughs> ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no podrías apagar la compu ahorita? Eh, 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 no stop the laptop. Ajá, uh -huh. why? No, no, no funciona. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Turn off is apagar. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. If I say, please turn off the laptop, y tú me dices, sorry, I can't right now. Why? ¿Por qué no la podrías apagar ahorita? I no fun no function el, el, el no me funciona el it's not working you say sorry it's not working but the reason <laughs> the reason will be eh, compañeros de clase por qué razón no podríamos apagar la laptop ahorita because we are in class because we are in class <laughs> right if not yes, teacher Nat is going to class. be like blah 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 and you turning off the laptop <laughs> Okay, very good. Let's continue. Let me see. Heidi. Hi, teacher. Heidi, put the food in the microwave. Sorry, teacher. I can't uh, put the song the food, in the, the microwave. Food. 
Why classroom? Because you are no. in the, because you are in class now, <laughs> and you cannot be eating in class. Okay, forgiven. Okay, you're you're you're. It's okay. Let me see, Blanky. Hello, Blanky. Please pick up the newspapers. Pick up the newspaper. Um, right now. <laughs> uh huh. Why? Pick up the newspaper. You say sorry, I can't pick up the newspaper. In this moment, I can. Okay. Why? I, I'm sorry. In this moment, I can because because I I take the class. I have taken the class. At the end of the class, I take it. <laughs> okay. At the end of the class, you have to do it, right? At the end of the class, you have to yes. do it. Fantastic. Very good job. Right. If I tell you, for example, right now, let me see. I am going to take the last person. Michelle Abrego. Michelle, clean up the mess in the bedroom. Oh, teacher, I can. I'm in class right now. Ah, yeah, just because you are with teacher Nati, I will say that's okay. Okay, so that's the idea. In some cases, we put a lot of excuses. Imagine if I say, hey, students, put away your cell phone. What would be your excuse? Put away your cell phone. What will be the excuse? Huh? For everybody, what would be the excuse that you can give me? If I say, hey, put your cell phone away. Sorry, teacher. I, I am can't. using the translator. I am using the, the translator. Good. Ismael, what is your excuse? Sorry, I can't put it away because I am using it um, to take the class. I am using it to take the class. So that is the different excuse. And it's true. Yeah, yeah even though, no, it's a lie <laughs> because I am using a laptop. Okay, good, good. It's, gonna, it's only an excuse, okay? It's, it's only an excuse. Okay. So, in the free conversation time, we are going to have different questions, right? And this is going to give us an idea for the next part of the class. And in this one, I have eight questions for everybody. The first question says, who is the messiest in the house? Your, your wife, you, your kids. What is the, the meaning of messiest? El más desordenado. No es el que le gusta messi. El más desordenado. Who is the messiest in the house? The next one. Who does most of the work in the kitchen? Your wife, you, your mother. A wife. Who usually takes out the garbage? Who usually takes out the garbage? The next one, who worries most about expenses? Who is the one that is taking care of the money? The next one, who is the most organized person at home? The next one, who complains more about house chores? House chores are activities that you do in the house. Who complains more? It's like, I, ah, no, again? Come on, that it's complaining. Who is the most helpful person at home? That is the one that it's taking care of everything. And who usually does the cleaning? Those are the questions that I need you to answer. Okay, who is the messiest person in the house? Who does most of the work in the kitchen? Who usually takes out the garbage? Who worries most about expenses? who is the most organized person, who complains more about house chores, and who is the most helpful person at home, and who usually does the cleaning. I need you to raise your hand and I need you to answer one of the questions. Read the question and give me the answer. You can raise your hand on camera because I can see you or on the platform. Mauricio, go ahead. Who is the messiest, messiest messiest in the house? 
and now I am the missus in my house. <laughs> Guilty, you say. It's me, yes, you say. Yes, in that case, the answer is it's, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Okay. Okay. It's me. Yeah, and your wife is like <laughs> behind you. <laughs> my wife is. My, my wife organized. say yes, yes. I have a, all reason. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Mauricio, for your answer. The next person, raise your hand on camera or on the platform. Go ahead. Julio. Turn on your microphone. Go ahead. Who is the most organized person at home? The most in organized. Case, organized. In my case, is my wife. Okay. It's your wife. So you are the messiest. It really, really, no. The girl is the messiest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Ismael, go ahead. <laughs> Who does the cleaning? Uh huh. It's my wife. She is You're... always cleaning uh, the, the windows, the floor. So she, she, she does it. She does the cleaning, yeah. right? She cleans everything and she cleans you as well. No, 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 <laughs> not me. No, and and uh, the, the, the other one that I wanted to say is who is the messiest in the house? Uh -huh. it's, my, it's my one year daughter. Oh. She's the baby, <laughs> but she's taking everything. <laughs> I know, I know that you do the cleaning and then they mess up everything. Yeah, that happens. Very good. Thank you, Ismael, for your answer. Very good job. Let's see, the next one. Blanky, go ahead. Who is the most organized person at home? Ser 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 seriously? Uh -huh. Me and my kid, Abril, my, my little child. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Who is the most organized person yes, at home? Yes, it's very organized in there. For the, my kids, for the school, for the soccer, it's very, very organized. Yes. Very, very good job. Excellent. It's my, my daughter. Very good. Very good. So your daughter and you. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Ana Yancy, read the one question and give yes. me the answer. Thank you, Blanca. Um, who usually does um, the cleaning? Um, me. <laughs> it's me you say yes yeah it's in most of the cases is the mother Heidi go ahead read one question and give me the answer okay teacher who usually take up the garbage in my case is my mom oh really it's yes, your mother it's, yes it's my mom I work in the uh, trend de how do uh -huh. you say trend de sale? Uh, when, uh -huh. when when the, the, the garbage truck. Uh -huh. The garbage truck is the uh, 10 a.m. Oh. oh yes, because of the of the office work and the time that you go out, then your mother does it. That's very yes. good. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Mr. Tito, read one question and give me the answer. <laughs> Mr. Tito, hello. Tito at once, Tito at twice, Tito three times, he's not here. Regina. Ah, Tito is here, yay. Yes. Go ahead. Well, Sally, the garbage, uh -huh. me, me person. It's, it's me, you say. Me, me, I me. Okay, very good. So Tito is the one who takes out the garbage. Very good job. Alfredo. Who, who, who does most of the work in the, in the kitchen? Um, <coughs> Ahí es trabajar en la cocina, Tichero. ¿Cómo la, la, no, la pregunta? Who, who does most of the work in the kitchen? For example, the men do all the work in the garage with the car and everything. But who is the one that it's always in the kitchen cooking, preparing the food and everything? 
Who is the person okay. in your house? No, but who? ¿Quién es, ¿Quién es la que lo hace en tu casa? It's you, it's your wife, it's your daughter, your mother. My wife. In my wife, okay, your wife in this case. Very good, thank you very much. Michelle, read one question and give me the answer. Uh, okay, who usually does the cleaning? And in my case, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, very yeah. good. Regina, one more time. I clean in my house. Okay, you it's are me. the one. Okay, <laughs> who does the cleaning yes. in the house? It's me. Very good. Let yes. me see. Uh, in general, who worries more about the expenses? The girls or the boys? The expenses are lo gastos. In case, my wife. Yes. The wife, right? I think we take care of the expenses. And there are some men that are very organized with money. And that's very admirable and good. But yeah, si mandamos al esposo al super, it's like, hey, mira que chivo. Hey, los churros al dos por uno. Hey, mira que, hey, mira. <laughs> then you start putting everything on the car, on the, on the, um, on the, on the little cart. And they, at the end, it's like, hey, y el cilantro? Sorry, I forgot it. <laughs> But you brought doritos or churritos or whatever thing. Let's see. Another question uh, that you didn't read. Who is the most helpful person at home? The mother or the father? Mother. The, the mother. big sister. <laughs> the big sister, right? Mother. The mother, right? In, in many of the cases, the mothers are the ones that are uh, helping a lot. So um, I am going to make the little introduction for the next topic that we're going to study. Would you mind? Do you know what is the meaning of would you mind? Any idea? Like uh, imagine. Aha, uh -huh. Ismael has the answer. Can you give me the answer? You have a parent. I think. Sería como, si no te importaría. Aha, te importaría. Uh, would you mind? It's a very polite form of complaining about something. Okay. If you have a neighbor that is always listening to agropecuarian music all the day, uh, would you mind? Would you mind stopping the music? Would you mind turning down the volume? Would you mind? Right? Te importaría? Te molestaría? Right, and that's a very polite form of asking, right? Would you mind? And I have some examples here. I need one person to help me reading the examples. Who can do it? Uh -huh. Say me, teacher, I can do it. Julio, go ahead. Okay. Could you, could, uh, the first one? Yes, please. Okay. Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? You have a party? Uh, I, I, I like uh, to make sure I am not a hunt. Okay. I would like. I would I, like. I would, I would like, like. I right? would like. Okay. Number two, Blanky, go ahead. Blanquita, where are you? I'm here. Number two. I'm sorry, can you repeat me please? Can you read sentence number two? Okay. Can you turn the stereo off please? And uh, the, uh, the walls are really thin to the sound go through to my apartment. Exactly, right? The sound goes through to my apartment. Very good. Mauricio Trujillo, number three. What do you like to mean closing the door behind you and making sure it's locked? We don't want any stranger to enter, enter the building. Okay. Would you mind closing the door behind you, right? Behind you, it's al salir. 
I'll Mis send it. Mr. Marlon, go ahead, number four. Would mm. you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking space? A lot of cars have been used in my space recently. Recent. Very good. Recently. And the last one, Heidi, please. Okay, teacher. Can you mink? mink Would you mind? Can you mind not falling your car garbage in the front of your door? It's not very pleasant to see it in the hallway. Okay, very good job. Thank you to all the ones who helped me reading. I am going to read it again for us to check on some details on pronunciation, okay? Listen to the first one. Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Can you read with me? Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Can you please tell me the next time you have a party? Okay. Could you please? Could you please? Could, could you please? Could, 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 you, could, you, could you, you please? Please. Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? I would like. I would like. I would like. I would like to make sure I am not at home. To make sure I am not at home. Can you turn the stereo off, please? Can you turn the stereo off? The walls, the walls are really thin. The walls are really thin. Las paredes son bien really thin. delgadas. So the sound goes through to my apartment. The next one. Would you mind? Would you mind closing the door behind you? Closing the door behind you and making sure. And making sure it locks. It locks. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? We don't want to make it Okay. Would you mind closing the door? ¿Te importaría cerrar la puerta cuando salgas? Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? Y asegúrate que cierre. Right, and making sure it locks. We don't want any strangers to enter the building. We don't want any strangers to enter the building. The next one. Would you please? Would you please? Would you please, would you please, would you please tell your guests? Tell your guests, guests, guests to use the visitor parking. Spaces. Spaces. Would you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking spaces? A lot of cars have been using my space recently. 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 Would you mind not putting your garbage in front of your door? Would you mind not putting your garbage in front of your door? It's not very pleasant to see it in the hallway. It's, it's not, not very, very, not very pleasant. pleasant. It's in the hallway. Wow. It's in okay, pleasant. It's it's not very pleasant. No es muy agradable. Okay, no es muy agradable. 
Okay, do you know the meaning of all the words presented? ¿Saben todos los significados de las palabras que les he presentado en estos ejercicios? Or I don't not, know. Teacher, what's the meaning of? Can you give me the word? Yeah, what's the meaning of uh, guest? Guest. Guests. The people that you invite. Okay. Those are your guests. Okay. If I invited half of my office to come to my house, those are my guests. Okay. okay. Good. Very good. Los invitados. Uh -huh. yes? is, excuse me. The the recent recently 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 recientemente en ah, estos okay. últimos días. Uh -huh. That's okay. recent. Yes, Very good. Any other question? Uh -huh. Preguntas. The rest. Teacher, yes. Is this a hallway? Ah, hallway. Pasillo. Pasillo. Ah, sí. Okay. Thank it's you. not very pleasant to see it in the hallway. In el pasillo. Any uh, other question? Teacher. Yes. Uh, Perdón, eh, yo necesito el enlace para poder entrar a la plataforma porque lo hago desde, desde el teléfono. Ok, I think I send it to you. If not, I am going to send it again on the group. Let me see. I think I have it right here. If not, I am going to send it back to you. Ok, let me see, let me see. I think... Okay, I am going to send it right here. And for sure, I am going to send it right now to the chat. Okay. Okay, so it's there. Va a compartir esta presentación? Well, uh, most of these things are in the platform. But if not, when we finish the topics, we can I can share it with you, okay? Cuando termine toda esta sección, se los puedo compartir because I haven't finished this okay. section. Okay, maybe tomorrow or on Thursday, I can do it. Tomorrow, teacher. Yes. Tomorrow, everybody. Tomorrow, I will finish the section and I can share it with you. Okay, that's perfect. That's no Thank problem. You. Okay, well, my dear students, tomorrow we are going to be studying the use of would you mind? Okay, so please, would you mind being on time for the class tomorrow? That would I be try. my request. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind attending the class tomorrow at the same time? So I am going to continue with this topic tomorrow. Okay. So please make sure that you okay. continue investigating more. If you can enter the platform and complete section one, you can do it because we have already finished most of the topics. Okay. Pueden ir y completar la sección uno, que es todo esto que hemos estado haciendo en estos dos días. Okay, so I am going to see you tomorrow for another class, my dear students. Have a beautiful day. See you tomorrow. Good night, Good night Good teacher. Bye. Bye bye. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. See you tomorrow.